Now, earlier we spoke to pro-democracy activist Agnes Chow from Hong Kong. And Weon is the only Indian channel to have spoken to all three prominent pro-democracy leaders of Hong Kong. Now, speaking to Agnes Chow, we asked her about the current situation in Hong Kong and who is in charge of the situation in Hong Kong, as Carrie Lam has come out and said that she did not offer to resign, but the leaked audio tape showed her frustration at being able to curb the protests. Um, I think that Carol Lam is not taking her responsibility as a chief executive well. Um, although she she claimed that um, she um, did not um, tell the Chinese government that she wanted to resign, but I think she still has the authority. She still has the power to change a lot of the current situation in Hong Kong. She can like. Like, like, for example, she can kindly remind the police force not to abuse their power, not to use too much violence on the police, but she didn't choose to remind the police. She can choose to, you know, um, um, resign because of her maybe sickness or anything, but she didn't choose to do that. So I don't think she's taking his, her responsibility well. And... Um, um, she is not going to. It, she, it seems that she um, do not want to solve the root political pro problem in Hong Kong and to listen to the five demands of protesters. She just she just wants to use a hardline policy and also violence to suppress the movement. We also asked her about how big a headache this will be for, the, for China at the United Nations General Assembly meeting. Now, the videos of the violence unleashed upon the protesters have these videos severely dented the image of China. Okay, I would say that um, well, Hong Kong people... Um, Ha, ha, have used a lot of methods in over these three months to fight for our five demands. At first, we have uh, a million people coming out to protest, and later, two million of people coming out for peaceful protests. But the Carrie Lam and Hong Kong government um, keep refuse to listen to our opinion. I think in many democratic country, you know especially in the Western world, if there are two million citizens going on the street and, you know, opposed to the government, the government will probably end. But um, in, a, in a situation in Hong Kong, under the control of the authoritarian regime and under control of Chinese government, Chinese Communist Party, um, they... They, um, um, they choose not to respect the opinion, the public opinion. So, um, um, so I would say that that's the reason why um, protesters are choosing or are considering using more kind of radical way to fight for uh, our demands. You know, we are not using radical ways on the first on the first day, but just only because the government, it seems that the government is telling us um, moderate methods are no longer useful for um, giving pressure to the government. That's why part of the protesters will try to use radical way to fight for um, our demands. And also because the political, the, the, pol the police violence is escalating day by day. So, um, and many of our friends get hurt and even lose their lives because they are being gunshot by, by the police. So um, the anger among Hong Kong people has been escalating over the past two and three months. We also asked whether there was a possibility of solution to the protests and what should China do to ensure that Hong Kong returns to normalcy? Um, I think, well, if you're asking that when, you know, how to solve the problem or when the protest will end, it's better to ask this question. It's better to ask Carrie Lam this question because she's the one who is avoiding um, to solve 
um, the political problem and avoiding to give a direct response on um, on the five demands of Hong Kong. And in the in one of the press conference, like last week or two weeks ago, Carrie Lam stated very clearly that she was well, she although she listened to the opinion of people, she listened to the five demands of people, but she would definitely not accept the five demands of protesters. So that's why it's always very, um, um, it's very like ironic that when the government said that they want to have a dialogue with the protesters, at the same time, Carrie Lam um, used a very hardline policy towards protesters saying that she's not going to accept the five demands and use police as a political tool to arrest protesters. And um, and I believe that China, the Beijing government, has a very um, big responsibility also because, um, well, according to many of the news reports, actually, it's the Beijing government insists that the Hong Kong government should not listen to any of the demands of Hong Kong people. But for me, um, the responsibility of being a government is to respect to people's opinion and to listen for people, um, listen to people's opinion. But definitely, we could see that Hong Kong governments and Beijing government are not um, bearing their basic responsibility. <laughs>